In this video, I'm going to show you how to control your fans on a tough B450M Plus gaming motherboard from this to this. But before that, please help the channel by subscribing. Let's jump into it. I got an issue with my Vitality motherboard, so I got the tough B40M plus board to replace it. This motherboard is a micro ATX board so clearly it is bigger than the Vitality B450 mini ITX board. I chose this board because it's not that expensive. Uh, it cost me 180 that's Singapore dollars. I also like this board because the M.2 is oriented on the top or located on the top of the board and there are three fan headers. Uh, there are only two temperature sensors though. One at the CPU and one in front for the system. On this motherboard there are two ways to control your fans one in the BIOS and two with the software. Of course, naturally, I went for the BIOS first because I'm too lazy to do any reading on the manual. And so far from my experience with other motherboards from other manufacturers, controlling it in the BIOS should be enough. I tinkered with it for two days and I got frustrated until I found this. Hello guys, I'm Nick Ram, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Fan Expert Free, which means you're going to be installing just that and none of the other ASUS products that they try and fold down your neck. I'm also going to show you. If you wish to install just the fan controller, you can follow his procedure. I have the link on the video description below. But if you want to install the whole suite, you can follow along. To download the software, just go to Ace's uh, website, look for Tough B450M Plus Gaming, and you should be able to find all of the drivers and utilities and any software that comes with it. The fan controller is called Fan Expert 2 Plus. It's part of the AI suite. After installing the AI suite, launch it, and this is how it looks like. Select Fan Expert and I'll show you how to configure it. Before we start, click on Fan Tuning so that the software will be able to map the fan's RPM rating. As you can see, there are four profile presets that you can use, but I'd rather show you how to create your own profile. Let's start creating our own profile. The number of panels is dictated by the number of fan headers that you have on the board. For this board, there are three, so you will see three panels. The first thing that we need to do before we proceed any further is by identifying the fans that we're trying to control. Let us label them correctly so that it will be easier for us to identify which one is which.
Now that we are done with the labels, let's set up the triggers. Each fan has three triggers. Lowest, mid, and the highest. Don't follow my settings because these are my personal preference. These are based on the fan ratings, noise levels, and my preferred temperature. As you can see, it's very easy to set up the triggers. Just drag the blue dot to your preferred fan speed when it reaches a certain temperature. Do the same thing with the rest of the triggers. You can apply the same procedure with the rest of the fans. By the way, for the front and back fans, don't forget to choose the motherboard temperature sensor as the temperature source. After you have set all the triggers for all the fans, then you're all set to save your personal profile. And that's it! If you find this video useful, toss me a like and don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next one.